I'm now enjoying this beach, but that's not really something that I want to talk to you about today. So many people look at me at the state that I am at the moment. Uh, living in Australia, I have nice beautiful family, I have a place to live. And many people think that I was born with a silver spoon. I was born to a single parent. I didn't even have enough money to go to the high school. So mom had to go around big time to beg for money from some people that she knows of. So I was born to a Chinese family as a Muslim. So, in terms of the race, I am the minority in Indonesia and that's when I get bullied so much but because I'm a Muslim, so a lot of people actually accept me because of that which I found really sad. They should accept me for who I am and not because of my religion. People should not judge people based on the religion. So to me, you're either good people or you're an asshole. Mom's a mate. She does cleaning, going from house to house. We really poor. When I was 14, I was a paper boy. I had to ride a bicycle around to sell newspaper. I made very good, decent money at the time to fund my own school fee. I feel like that's the peak of my family struggle. So long story short, mom actually uh, got an opportunity to go to Australia because people trusted my mom to work as a maid in Australia and she got the sponsorship that was back in 1996 you know that's the whole new financial um, uplift for our family at a time to get to this point where I am at the moment it's a lot of hard work that people don't see well first of all success is not all about the money I don't have much money to be very honest with you I'm happy I'm content I've got beautiful families I've got two kids I always try to my hardest to keep the balance between my work my vlogging with my family time golden rule treat people as how you want to be treated that's extremely important to my opinion man no one would like to fuck around so don't fuck around with anyone honesty is extremely important if it's not something belongs to you don't take it it doesn't apply only to things that includes the time if that's not your right to have it don't have it but instead work hard and work smart to gain it wasting time is for loser I'm going to show you guys where I used to live. This is the, uh, the living condition. Yeah, so this is where I used to live. There used to be a room at the top that we're renting. So it's probably about 24 meters square. Um, that's where our sleeping area is. The uh, cooking, everything's actually happening within that area in a small room. So, but it's changed a lot now. Uh, that was like 24 years ago. Used to be at the top there, but there's nothing there anymore. So I still remember at that time uh, we didn't have any entertainment like TV. So uh, we eventually get hold of a second-hand TV, uh, 150 Australian dollars at a time. But um, mom had to work like 10 months just to pay it off. So. That just to give you a perspective of our financial situation at the time. There's another place that I used to live in. 36 meter square room. We did everything there, sleeping, cooking, and there's um, about 10 meter square kitchen and bathroom at the back. Not even a house, it's just like one small area that we rented at the time. There's a little ale at the back. So yeah, so this is where we used to live. next to the traditional market. I had dreams at a time, I just didn't know how to make it happen. What I knew at that time was I just need to work hard, crack out of my comfort zone, have integrity, honesty and respect for people. 
So I feel all the things are coming together now. All the hard work starts to form something, something people see as success. But I actually see it as a beginning of an even bigger dream. So thanks for watching this episode with me, showing you where I used to live, my living condition was at the time, and no, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. If you don't ask, you don't get. If you don't try, you just never know the result. As simple as that.